HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews, contests, and more. Hey everyone, it's D from HookPro.com and today I'm going to show you how I pack Tangiers in a Crown Classic ball. This video is being done by request. Uh, Joe Vincent originally requested this quite a while back and I apologize for not getting to it. Um, he's probably already figured out his own techniques. Um, but also Killer B asked to see this and uh, Killer B has been hammering on me incessantly to do this video. Um, not really, he just he reminded me that I gotta do it so I'm doing it. Uh, a couple of things before I get into it. Um, I use this bowl almost, almost exclusively and it's it's got a lot of use. Um, it actually, I dropped it, my, I didn't really drop it, it got like shot into my sink and it has a pretty nasty crack in it. Um, also, I haven't done a thorough cleaning on this thing lately, and I was going to clean it up before I shot the video, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to let you see up close what a filthy, well-used and abused crown bowl looks like, and uh, I'll show you how I pack it. I'm going to smoke it up. Uh, I'm going to use my little QT here. I just got this. I'm not going to review that. Everybody's done them. It's a great little hookah. Um, but anyway, I'm going to smoke it up and then I'm going to do a thorough cleaning on it and I'll show you what it can look like after that. So uh, on to the packing. Okay here's the bowl and uh, as you can see it's pretty filthy. Um, this hasn't been deep cleaned in quite a while and uh, what the only thing I do with it is I soak it in hot water uh, after a session. And this is, I don't know how many sessions this has had on it since I've, since I've done a thorough cleaning. And there is, hope you can see that, there's a crack. Actually goes here and there's a little extension of it right there. So, yeah, it's, um, it's been well used. And let's get on with the packing here. Alright, today I'm using Tangiers. This is Noir with Lucid. You don't have to go as crazy. Um, although I recommend, personally, I recommend that you put a slight pack even on Lucid. But this stuff, I like to pack it tight. Another, one of the things I like about this bowl is it's easy to pack. Um, I'm not sure exactly, I don't really think too much about how much I'm putting in there. I just kind of judge it by eye. Um, I'm going to put a little more than that. Uh, probably about like that. And what I do is I pack this down pretty tightly. I push down on it and I don't know how well I'm going to be able to make this apparent but oh, one of the things about these bowls because they're glass the, the, the tobacco can have a tendency to slide around like that. See that? Well, we can demonstrate that. <clears throat> so you got to kind of keep a couple of fingers on it and I push it down tight. I push it down until I see juice squeezing out of it a little bit. And I see I'm going to need more tobacco here. And a little more. Um, I tend, I'd use my fingers with this bowl just because the tobacco does slide around. See, I push it down fairly tightly and try to get it even. Uh, watching the bowl and not watching the camera. Try to get it fairly even in there. It's not real critical. And I try to get it so that it is just about just below those holes there. You can see the hole here and where the tobacco is. See another one there. So just about like that. Keep it below the rim 
And then uh, again using Calutica's bowl sealing trick. Um, fingers are all filthy with, let me get some of this tobacco off my finger. All filthy with juice, so I smear some juice around the edge of the bowl. Just to help seal it up. And then foil. Heavy duty foil. And wrap it around there nice and tight. I use a toothpick. Um, whole pattern, of course, is a matter of preference. I tend to keep a fairly tight hole pattern. I keep it about three eighths of an inch away from the edge of the bowl. If you, and obviously I don't get real careful about it, so about like that. Um, if you put a lot more holes in there, you'll get a lot more airflow out of this bowl. Um, but this is about what I do. Um, you know, again, I don't get real picky about my whole pattern. Um, so, yeah, there it is. And let's smoke it up. Alright, I've got two Kranakuka Naturals on there. And the uh, bowl's been going just for a few minutes. Now, when I originally posted the review of this bowl, um, you you would have maybe maybe had noticed that the bowl fired up right away when I put the coals on. Um, the packing technique I was using then, I used to just pack it a little bit higher, but what I just showed you, packing it a little bit lower, um, makes heat management easier, um, but it takes a little longer for the bowl to get going. Uh, you can pack it higher and it, it will work fine, but you're going to find yourself uh, moving the coals around a lot more uh, than if you pack it lower. So I'm going to finish up this bowl and then I'm going to deep clean the bowl. What I'm going to do is boil it um, along with some coffee maker cleaner in there. That's what I've been using. I've also used lemon juice. Uh, like 30% lemon juice mixture and water uh, that works too um, but I'm going to clean it up thoroughly and show you what it looks like alright here it is after a thorough cleaning and I don't know how well you'll be able to see but about the only thing that's left is in the crack there there's some crud still in the crack. There's a couple little specks here and there. But yeah, it cleans up very nicely. So there it is. I hope this has been helpful. Um, one thing I want to point out, uh, Crown Hookahs, uh, if you've been looking at their site at all lately, you'll notice that the hookahs are, have disappeared from the site. Uh, Santino has told me that he's coming out with some new hookahs. Um, he's done some redesign on them and uh, he's very excited about them. In fact, they should be out um, this week. He's hoping they're going to be available this week. He's got a bunch of other new products coming out too, some new bowls, new mouthpieces. Um, I can't recommend this particular bowl enough. Uh, I love it. Uh, but you all know that already, I think. Um, so that's about it. Uh, I've got a couple more videos coming up this week. going to do my top five favorites. I'm going to actually review another Crown product, the Crown Jewel. Um, and whatever might catch my fancy. We'll see. So with that, this has been D from HookahPro.com. Be certain to check out HookahPro.com. And as always, thanks for watching. I just can't get